Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today for this week's Thursday 30 with Andrea from Iris Bond who's going to talk about the new iGaze friendly app wheel powered by Iris Bond. So thank you Andrea and over to you. Perfect. Thank you so much Annabelle, my name is Andrea. I am from the um, Iris Bond International team and I am focused mainly on partner training and I'm also doing a bit of account management and uh, welcome everyone here either now uh, or if somebody is uh, having a look on the webinar later then welcome and I would like to uh, speak as uh, Annabelle said about I guess friendly app wheel which we um, like developed in here in Iris Bond. And I would love to make this webinar a bit more interactive. So I pre, uh, like prepared a few slides in Mentimeter. So if you can now uh, to scan this QR code, or I put also a link to the chat, you can you can uh, join there to the to the Mentimeter like um, quiz, and we will start with the first very easy question. I just want to make sure that everything works and please when you are logged in there uh, just keep it uh, during the whole um, webinar and I will be a little bit jumping front and back so you should see this page and we can maybe go for the first question I will give you a bit of, of time you can also join in, in Mentimeter.com uh, with this number uh, so uh, the first question is if you ever heard about Iris Bond. I hope it's going to be a full blue. <laughs> it's getting there. That's already very good. Perfect. So we have here still someone who never heard about Iris Bond, which is very good because that's why we are here also today. So um, Iris Bond is an eye tracking company which is already 11 years old on the market and we are making technology made by people, so made by all of these people that you can see on the screen. Each person has its own important role and together we are creating technology for people, for people who need it. And, um, it's, we, are, we are collecting uh, feedback a lot from the market. We are trying to be very close to the end users. And if you didn't have ever heard about Iris Bond, maybe you already hear about uh, Hiru. And Hiru is our um, latest technology and it's the first standalone eye tracker that is compatible with both, with uh, um, Windows operation system and also iPad OS and um, this device gives a full range of possibilities because it's really one uh, eye tracker that you can just connect with the same cable to a Windows uh, device and also to iPad and I would be quite interested what uh, is your experience in eye tracking so if you can join again the Mentimeter and you can let me know either if it's you are an expert in eye tracking, you are a beginner, or you maybe start, um, you are studying uh, something about eye tracking technology. Whatever you feel uh, it's good, you can type there. You need to, you can just type one response. You don't have to type three of them and you can just submit it. So let's see what are, what are going to be the, uh, the answer. Do you see the question? Yes, I can, I can see it. OK, I just don't see any responses. Ah, perfect. Intermediate, I tried iPad, iPad, I, OK, perfect. Development, minimal. OK, that's really good. I am, I am very happy to have here a little bit different levels. I also see you mentioning iPad that that's, uh, that's very positive because i have here right now one more well let's I, I will wait a bit more seen it at school that's all that's also very good and that's why we are here today and i think that we can move forward 
another one, which is which one did you try? Even if you tried or if you are working with it more, is it with Windows or is it with iOS or is it with both? I think you can also check both of the platforms. So you can let me know. Perfect, perfect. Again, a bit mixture, a bit Windows, it's here more popular, maybe in UK, but I am happy that I also see a bit of interest for iOS. And with that, I wanted to uh, let you know that now our uh, Hero Eye Tracker, it's in completely new casing, which was developed together with uh, uh, our partner from United States, and it's available in UK. So it's for um, pretty short time on the market. So just in case that you didn't hear about it yet, it's a device that I have here. It's called Versa Eye. It's an iPad, 12.9 inches, iPad Pro 12.9 inches. It has here the Hero. Uh, in the back part, it has the battery, which the battery life, it's about seven hours, which is pretty, pretty nice. It has a turn off, turn on button. And also it has a kickstand, so it can stay. Uh, maybe if you saw our solution with a iPad that doesn't have the kickstand, so this is a bit different solution. Also, the cables are here nicely protected, and it's a great um, device which could be um, used in schools or in the centers. So it's for now like this, it's available only with iPad, not with Windows, but I just wanted to uh, present it because it's pretty new. And just in case that somebody didn't see it yet, it's an opportunity and it's a availability uh, on, your, on your market. And as someone from you also uh, mentioned that uh, is working on Windows and on iPad both, probably you know that in both platforms, eye tracking were slightly different. And to be able to access whatever um, app, whatever um, software we need, we in, I, in Windows, sorry, we need an additional software for computer control. So there are different options which we can have, and it's uh, either EasyClick. EasyClick, it's a computer control program which comes together with Hero. Or there are also mouse simulators in MindExpress and Grid3, which are huge softwares which you definitely know. And uh, in iOS, there is a bit different tool. It's Assistive Touch, which is integrated inside of iPad. And together with the Hero app, which is again app which comes together with the uh, uh, Hero to Hero, the eye tracker together, these both tools also allow to access fully fully the iPad. So with these tools, which I presented, either some software or the assistive touch in iOS, we can access a huge amount of uh, different different apps. And as it's a big world of apps and of uh, softwares and platforms of what we can do, um, not everything is so easily accessible with the eye gaze. And there, therefore, we created our app wheel uh, that uh, each user can choose its proper app, which is like suitable for, for him. And um, we put all these huge, huge amount of apps on only one page. So uh, here you can see how the final app wheel looks like. Um, it's, um, it's a tool or it's a, it can be a poster that can be used, for example, in schools, can be printed on the wall and the teachers can use it, or it can be in the centers. Uh, Depending, it can be also printed, as I said, and as a paper, but also it can be accessible just on, just online and it's divided in three parts. Uh, the orange one that you can see, uh, it's uh, only uh, like, let's say, I guess friendly apps for Windows or softwares for Windows. The blue one are I guess friendly apps for iPad, but only for iPad and this 
is a common part. So these apps are uh, accessible in both in both softwares. You can also see that there are different um, like sections. So for example, for communication or uh, for for learning, learning with the eye gaze or even with for with some games. Uh, the same way here. Uh, so there are different sections of, of the apps and uh, each of the app, if we click on it, there is a link. So there is a link either to Google Play or to App Store so we can access it directly. So if in case that you have the um, app wheel in the PDF, you can click on it and it can directly go to, to these two stores where you can download the, the correct app. And um, as, as we know that it's a um, tool which is full of like games, learning uh, games, but also um, application for advanced users, we created, and it, it might be a bit confusing because maybe someone doesn't know if it's a correct game for him or not, or if it's a correct software for him. We also created, um, little extension. So uh, this is an Appwheel extension, which is um, which you can find in our knowledge base. The Appwheel, as I mentioned in the previous slide, is already public on our website. So you can find it easily there. And our knowledge base is also uh, on our website. So there is a lot of uh, product information in general. But now there is a new section as this Appwheel extension. And um, it's because we know that there are different profiles of uh, users of the iGaze. So there are early stage profiles, independent users, and many more. So that's why we created eight for now, eight articles that includes um, iOS app guide, also iOS user profiles, and then user profiles for Windows, which also include suggested uh, apps for for the specific profile you can find them in the knowledge base but under under a little locker and i will then explain explain you why one section as i mentioned there are these ios ios app guide so whatever app you can find in the app wheel in the part of ios will be you will be also able to find it in this knowledge base extension with, with more deeper information. And um, here you can find explanation of the most common settings. So um, as I mentioned that in iOS, you need to work with assistive touch. So you need to work with the many settings inside of the iOS settings in general. And for someone can be a bit overwhelming. So that's why we try to make it easier. And for each app, we uh, provided a specific settings that, that is good to use. So, and this is only like a legend or um, only like a guide. So you can uh, see what is the action and what does it mean? And even you can click on these uh, pieces and that brings you to another article which gives you even more detail about a specific setting. And also here on the top, you can find uh, for what user this app should be the best option. So for example, if we come back totally to the app wheel, you select that you would like to download Safari, for example. That's just, just an example. Uh, and you find it then in your app guide. Uh, it's an app which is recommended for independent user. And there are specific setting recommendations that is, for example, having snap to item on hot corners. It's always good to have an option to turn off, turn on snap to item. And then also what is, for example, the assistive touch menu selection for that specific app. So this would be one part, which is, which is the uh, iPad, iPad OS uh, app, app guide. Then another part would be a user profiles for iPad as well. There we selected three user profiles, uh, two 
for uh, early stage user and one for independent user. Because uh, as I said, the iOS settings can be a little bit overwhelming. And if somebody comes and uh, doesn't work um, very commonly with the uh, with, um, iPad, maybe it can be a bit confusing. Therefore, here you can find very simple uh, recommendation how to set up iPad for very early stage user, how to set up the assistive touch menu, how to make it a bit easier. Is it good to use hot corners or not for uh, uh, early stage user? And for example, there is also a little example how to set up um, the home page for early stage users so it can be nice for him. And the same way we have it for the early stage user profile number two, which is a content context dependent user, and also for the independent user. In a similar way, we also uh, created these kind of user profiles for Windows. Uh, so there are only two of them, early stage and independent user, and we have their recommendation for the most favorite software or um, yeah, for the most favorite software, and then also detailed recommendation for EasyClick and MindExpress for now, but we are all the time working on that, so I am sure that we are going to be adding there also more and more recommendations. And uh, this, uh, also at the bottom, we have their additional software, which is uh, commonly used in these categories. So as you can see on the GIF, there is a, a bit of like icons, so for example, um, I don't know, look to learn or the, these softwares, these are again for early stage user. So therefore you can have a look on the app wheel and there, then in the knowledge base, you also find, okay, this is, this is um, more appropriate for independent user or for very, very early stage one. And um, now, as I explained you, a little bit, how does it work? Uh, I would like to show you, um, I would like to know what do you think, um, what app shouldn't be missing in, the, in this app wheel? Firstly, I would like to think, so just like bring it um, as a little brainstorming, uh, if you can think about some apps that you really think that they are important for eye gaze, or that even you would like to maybe try for I guess. Um, if you can please write it down. Again, you have three options, but you can definitely write down even only one. And then if you don't have anything just from um, what just uh, now, like in your head, I can also show you the app wheel and you can maybe tell me, okay, this one I think is really essential. So I will give you a little bit of time. Greetings, okay. It could be like some app for greetings or definitely some app which even consider the greetings. Some music app, okay. A food that would be mainly for the communication. So some kind of communication software that should be definitely uh, included in this, in this app wheel. If I come just back uh, and I will show you fastly the app wheel. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. It's here. If you have a look on it more in detail, because before I've a little bit fly away, uh, now you can add to the Mentimeter um, something what you really consider essential being there. For example, I believe that I, from my point of view, I would, for example, put a grid tree because it's a big communication software, but also for computer control for everything. But what do you specifically think what is very, very important? Environmental control. That's very good. And I, I will have a look if we, if we have it there. We have here HomeKit and some softwares as MindExpress and grid tree contains environmental control. So that would be, okay. Any more ideas?
Then perfect. Then I will just skip again back to my later slide. And here is still hue lights. Okay, I will check that one because I I don't know I I am not familiar with that that one. We check and I will have a look on it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much for participation in the app wheel. And. Uh, as I mentioned, Upwheel is already now on our website, so you can check it, you can see it, and you can also download it, so you can print it, for example, for your class. But in case uh, that you would, you are interested in the extension, so for for that knowledge base articles, as I mentioned, the iOS uh, app guide, user profiles, and also user profiles for Windows, please. Either write me here your email address, and if you don't want to write it here publicly, just reach out to me to support uh, support uh, at irisbond because there, if you if you reach out to me there, I will respond to you and I will uh, give you more information how to access it. So this would be from my side, everything. And sorry, maybe even reach out to me in case that you are interested to learn about more about this solution. Uh, and I will either uh, put you in contact with a person or I will uh, share with you some support material or, or something, but feel free to reach out to, to support uh, at Iris Bond for having um, answers for this solution which is called versa i and now if you have any questions please feel free to ask if you would just like to see maybe the app wheel again or whatever you can ask. And if not, that's totally fine as well. Yeah, probably be good to have the app wheel there. Right. Um, if anybody has a question, you can either type it in the chat or you could unmute yourself as well. Everyone's very quiet. It's actually quite hard to read the apps on the app wheel it is for me anyway. <laughs> um, um, some people are probably more familiar with the app icons than me anyway, but uh, yeah. It might be, yeah, because we are very family. It's also a bit, it's a bit bigger in uh, reality, so maybe then later if you can find it on uh, our website you can just there you can see it see it more properly it's also yeah, quite... yeah it would be good actually to have a link to that um that image and then when i put it up i can include um like that image to, so people can download it perhaps maybe later if you can find the link fastly uh we could we could include it or if not i will uh we will send it to you annabelle in okay great yeah it's already in the chat you can find it there i sent it a few minutes ago oh okay great Everyone's very quiet. <laughs> then that means that there are no questions, no uh, necessity for explanation. No, they are sharing one question here, and they were asking if a app, those apps that are free, can be highlighted. Okay, that's a, that's a good uh, idea that we could maybe include to have them a bit more a bit, bit more visible. Honestly, there is a lot of apps for free uh, in this app wheel, but there is it's true that not er, uh, all of them. So very good point. I will note it down. It sounds like nobody else going to ask any questions. 
Doesn't look like we've got any more questions. So perhaps um, we can have an early mark unless you have um, anything else you wanted to add, Andrea. Perfect. I would just like to thank you for attention and uh, and that's it. Please be, feel free to reach out if you want more information and if you want the uh, at will extension. Great. Thank you very much. And um, no doubt we will be in touch again soon. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks everybody for joining. Thank you.